Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a possum, which was a request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 13.5cm wide by 12cm or 5.5 inches wide by 4.5 inches. The medium possum, crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton, and a 1.5 mm hook is 10.5 cm wide by 8 cm or 4 inches wide by 3 inches. This small possum crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook is 7 cm wide by 6 cm or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 2 and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be between the medium and the large possum. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 393 charcoal, 074 mercury, 106 snow white, 110 black, 222 tulip, and I'll be using a little bit of 238 powder pink for the claws, but you could use the tulip if you'd prefer. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook for the main parts and a 2.25mm crochet hook for the neatening rows. A darning needle to weave in the ends, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together, scissors, two small black beads for the eyes, and I've got a bit of fabric paint, white fabric paint, to put a white dot in the centre of the eyes. But you could use a sewing thread if you'd prefer. Now we're going to start at the top of the head. The head is worked in two colours. We start with mercury and join in some white in row three. So I've got my 7 for the mercury and we start with 4 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 3 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. So one single crochet into each of the two remaining stitches as well. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, and then we're going to join in the snow white, the 106. So here's my snow white. To join it, I put my hook into the stitch and just put a loop over my hook and bring it through and then use my snow white to put the yarn around the hook and take it through the two stitches. Then I pull the two cottons tight and I'm going to work over this snow white for the rest of the row. And then we work one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches of that row. There'll be three remaining stitches after our join. So we've got the two colours there. 
For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn the work. We work 2 single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we're going to change to the Mercury and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So put your hook in to the stitch and bring through a loop of Mercury. Leave your white at the front there and then work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five we start with two chain and turn. We're going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to change to the right. So put your hook into the next stitch and just bring the white over the top to the back and bring through a loop. And then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have eight stitches all together. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There are 3 loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work 1 single crochet in each of the next 3 stitches. And we change to our Mercury and work one single crochet into the next stitch. And then a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we change to the snow white and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we turn our work and we work one slip stitch into each of the first two stitches. Then work one chain and work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last slip stitch and the next stitch. and then we fasten off the Snow White and the Mercury. And that's the head done. This is the right side. 
So I'll weave in the ends on the other side and then I'll be back with the charcoal and we'll work a neatening row in charcoal around our head. Now we'll work this neatening row around the head now and we'll leave it attached and we'll work around the ear as well once we've done the ear. So I've got the 393, the charcoal, and we join in the top of the head just in the last stitch along the top. And we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch around. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Just find a suitable place really close to the edge to put your hook. I'm just going to work one chain tightly at this corner and then work a slip stitch into the same stitch just to make a little bit of a corner. And then slip stitch into the first stitch. Now we're not going to fasten off. That's the neatening row done. I'll just weave in this end here because I think it will get in the way while I work this ear. For the right ear we join the 222, the tulip, in the stitch down from the charcoal we've left, in the back loop only. So just in here. And work four chain. We work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then work one half double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch work one chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the half double crochet and then we fasten off. And that's the ear done. For around the ear we join in the charcoal. I might use my finer hook for the around the ear. And we work one single crochet in each stitch up to the top of the ear. Just find 
a spot really close to the edge of the ear to put your hook for your single crochets. I work a single crochet into the end, then I work one chain and work another single crochet into the end and then one single crochet in each stitch down the side. and then slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the right ear done. For the left ear, we join the 222, one stitch down from the top on the wrong side. So just in here, we're working into the back loop only again. And we start with four chain. We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then one half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. Work one chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the half double crochet and fasten off. Now I'll change to my final hook and we join the 393 the charcoal in the back loop only of the stitch below the ear. And work one single crochet in each stitch up the side of the ear I'm just working over the top of two of the tails just so I don't have as much to Weave in. Into the end stitch work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet. And work one single crochet in each stitch down the other side. and slip stitch into the top of the head and fasten off
and that's the left ear done. Now for this blaze I've got my 393 the charcoal and we start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle and then we work two chain and work one half double crochet into the circle and pull the circle tight so we take hold of this tail and ease it in for row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch for row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 3 single crochet into the stitch. And that's the blaze unneatened. I'll change to my smaller hook for the neatening row. For the neatening row just start with one chain quite tightly and work one slip stitch in each stitch down the side into the bottom stitch work one slip stitch one chain and one slip stitch and work one slip stitch in each stitch up the side. We're not going to work along the top. And then fasten off once you get to the corner there. And that's the blaze done. Now there's two little eye areas under the beads. We use the charcoal again and we make a magic loop. We work two chain and we're going to work a joined half double crochet into the circle. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the circle and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then pull the circle tight and work two chain. And then fasten off leaving a longer tail. We're going to use that to stitch it down towards the nose. So that's one eye area done. The other ones work the same. We make a magic loop and work two chain and work a joined half double crochet into the circle. We put the yarn around the hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook hook into the circle and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops, then pull the circle tight and work two chain and fasten off leaving a longer tail. We don't weave in that longer end when we're weaving in the ends. And that's the second eye area done. For the nose we'll use the 222 the tulip and we make a magic loop and work one chain, work one single crochet into the circle and then one chain and slip stitch into the circle and pull the circle tight. Now I fasten off leaving a longer tail because I use this to stitch the nose down 
and that's the nose. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back with my white and we'll work this little section here. Now for the neck I've got my 106 the snow white and we join in the back loop only five stitches down from the left ear. Now it should be just above where the nose will be in. And we start with two chain. Now we'll be working into the back loop only. We work one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And work three half double crochet into the following stitch. Then work two chain and we fasten off with just a little bit of a tail. Now this is going to be stitched in behind, it, behind the ear to make a loop to work into. So I'm just going to stitch the end down just in the ear there just to make a little loop. We're going to work four stitches in to that loop. I'll probably stitch through it about three times to make sure it's secure enough to hold the stitches. So just like that, I've got a little loop there to work into. Now I'll just weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll work this charcoal part. Now we're going to join the 393, the charcoal, in the first stitch of our neck. So in this stitch here. And we work one chain. Now we'll be working into the back loop only again. We work one single crochet in the back loop only of the same stitch as our join. Then one single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next three stitches. Then two half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. Into our two chain loop we work two single crochet and then two half double crochet.
and we're not going to fasten off the charcoal. I'll just pull out a loop. Just cut off that, that tail there so it doesn't get in the way. Now we're going to work this front leg. We join our 07 for the Mercury to the first stitch of the charcoal. So just in here. And work for chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet in each of the two remaining chain. And then work one half double crochet into the same stitch as the join. Then work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And two half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each stitch until there's one stitch left. And then we just leave a little loop there of the mercury and join in the charcoal and work two chain. And turn the work and work one half double crochet in the stitch we left. Then hook the mercury onto the hook and yarn around the hook with the charcoal and pull the charcoal loop through both the loops on the hook. We've just slip stitched the two together and then fasten off the charcoal and the mercury. And that's the front leg done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this little white section. Now for this little white section we join the 106 the snow white five stitches up from the end of the leg. So this stitch here And we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches through both loops.
and then slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the charcoal to work this next little section. For this next little section I've got my 393, the charcoal, and we join in the back loop only of the stitch before the snow white. And we'll be working into the back loop only. We work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the stitches on of the snow white and the first stitch after the snow white. So just one slip stitch in each stitch. and then slip stitch into the back loop of the stitch after the snow white and fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the mercury to work this section. Now I've got the 07 for the mercury and we join in the back loop only of our third slip stitch in charcoal. So this stitch here and work one chain. We'll be working into the back loop only. We work one single crochet into the same stitch as the join, then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches Two half double crochet into the following stitch, three double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So we need two more double crochet into that stitch. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. and then one half double crochet into each stitch to the end of the mercury. and fasten off. Now we're going to work this little part here with our charcoal. We join the charcoal in the back loop only of the stitch before our mercury. and we work one slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next six stitches.
and fasten it. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this back leg. Now for the back leg I've got my 07 for the Mercury and we join in the back loop only of the third last stitch of the charcoal. So this stitch here. And we start with six chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the remaining five chain. Then one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and one single crochet into each of the next three stitches in the back loop only. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the stitches down the leg. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 slip stitch in each stitch of the leg. And we fasten off the mercury. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the white and we'll work this last few bits of the back. Next we join the 106, the snow white, just at the top of the leg there, at the side. And we work two chain. We work two half double crochet in the same stitch as our join. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One double crochet into the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches.
and one double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work one treble into each of the next four stitches. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops and yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. So we need a treble in each of the next three stitches as well. Then one double crochet into the following stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the following stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. Now you may have ended at a different place than me but that's fine. Now we'll work this next mercury row. We join our mercury to the first stitch of the snow white. So just in here. And start with two chain. We work one double crochet in the same stitch as the join, that's a treble using UK terms. And then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. One half double crochet into the following stitch. And one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the charcoal to work this last stitch of the back. Now for this last row of the back I've got my charcoal and we join in the first stitch of the white just after the leg there, the top of the leg. and work one slip stitch in each stitch along the bottom there. And slip stitch into the first stitch along the back. And then work one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as the last slip stitch. 
and then work one single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. And then work one slip stitch in each remaining stitch along the back and to under the ear. And then fasten off. And that's the body done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the powder pink and we'll work the claws. Now for the front claws I've got my 238 the powder pink and I'm going to use my finer hook for the claws. It will just make it a bit easier. We join just at the side of the leg there. I won't be working as many claws as they have. I did try working all the claws, but it looked like it had a feather duster at the end of its leg, so I'll only work three claws. Now we start with two chain and work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the same stitch as the join. Now I'm going to work over the top of the tail so I'll pull it in when I've finished then work two chain slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into the end of the leg and then work two chain slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into the end of the leg again and then fasten off And that's the first lot of claws. The second lot is work the same. We join just somewhere at the end of the leg where you can join. And work two chain and slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the same place as the join. Then work two chain, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch along the leg and work two chain, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the end of the leg. And fasten off. And then there's a little claw about halfway up the leg. We join just 
in one of the chain about halfway up and work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next two chain. and then slip stitch into the same stitch as the join and fasten off. And that's all the claws done. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back with the charcoal and we'll start on the tail. Now for the tail we start with the charcoal and then join in black after we've done some. Now I leave a bit of a tail at the beginning. I've got this much. It, it depends on what thickness yarn you are using as to how much you'll need. Now I join in the stitch before the last one on the end. The tail's going to be worked in three stitches. The one before the corner, the corner stitch and then, then the next one. Now I'm not going to work over the tail, I'm going to leave it hang to use for the neatening row. Now we start with two chain and work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the join, one single crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. That's the treble using UK terms. We just want our tail to bend down a bit. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. And that's the end of the charcoal done. I'm going to cut that off with a long tail and We'll join in the black 
Now I'm going to leave a really long tail for the black because there's quite a lot of neatening row. Now to join it I just put a loop over my hook and pull it through, pull the charcoal tight and then work one chain and I turn. Now I need the black to go to the other side. So I'm going to work over the top a bit and for row 10 we work one single crochet into each stitch. Now we leave the black on this side. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. We're wanting our tail to bend more now. For row 13 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into the first stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with 3 chain and turn and work one double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 18 we start with 3 chain and turn and work one double crochet into the first stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 20 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch 
and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 22 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 23 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, and one double crochet into the last stitch. For row 24, we start with three chain and turn. We're working the end of the tail now, and we're going to work a join double crochet over the three stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we fasten off. And that's the tail done. Now for the neatening row we need to be careful that we don't pull our stitches too tight and bring them out of shape. So we start with this charcoal and we bring a loop to the front and you can work one chain tightly and we're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch just I might change hooks just up to the stitch before the black Now I'm just at the black now, just at the very beginning of the black, I leave the charcoal. Now I'm not going to weave these in, I'm going to use the black and the charcoal to do the little um, markings between the tail, change of tail colours. Now I bring the black through and I start working with my black. Now with this curve, try to hold your tail so that it's going to be in the shape that you want it to curve. And just work one slip stitch in each stitch around the black until you get to the charcoal. Join the charcoal in and then work one slip stitch in each stitch until you get to the body.
I'll work the rest of this off camera and I'll be back. Now that's the neatening row done. That's all the pieces worked. I'll weave in the rest of the ends. I'll leave these two from the join there because I'll use them to embroider on some markings. So I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the possum, the blaze, the two eye areas and the nose. The first things I'll do is embroider the markings just between the two, the changes of colour there and then I'll weave in these ends and I'll probably just stitch the tail down where it meets. I'll also attach the blaze just in the middle there between the ears. Next I attach the nose just just in that little area at the bottom there. Now we attach the eye areas. The end of the chain goes just down to the side of the nose. and the top part up in there. The last things I'll do is add a black bead to the middle of each eye area and then add a white dot. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished possum. There's the finished possum. The size is 12 centimetres wide by 11 centimetres or four and three quarter inches wide by four and a quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.